hey guys what's up welcome back again to my channel welcome back to bones's sports and welcome back to today's interesting video if you're just seeing my face for the first time my name is boma and i'm a youtuber based in lagos nigeria do well to hit the subscribe button turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified anytime i post a new video so yeah you guys from the title today we're going to be talking about friendships i mean bad friends friends that you need to run away from friends that you need to cut off with sledgehammer friends that you don't need in your life friends that you don't need in your circle friends that are going to help you grow so yeah let's just jump right into this the first friend that you don't need in your life and is probably just jealous of you is friends that are competitors <laughs> friends that are competitors and copycats i mean these people don't have healthy self-esteem until you do something first that is when they remember that they want to do it until you buy something first that is when they remember that they want to buy i mean they don't have they don't want to have their own identity i mean it can be frustrating when you have a friend that copies you in every single way my color is red your color is red you i bought this shoe from this place you want to have this shoe i have this bag you want to have this bag competitors i have started this business you also want to start this business i mean you want to do the exact same thing that i'm doing those friends are not healthy for you at all in any way i mean it's okay for you to inspire your friend to want to do something but there are people that are just plain copycats plain they copy everything about you they copy your makeup your style your everything they don't have their own identity and their own style they just literally just want to copy everything about you and you hear these people talking about or you just hear in the passing sometimes they can't even truly hide themselves oh. you hear in the passing where they will say ah, i wish i can be like you i wish i can be like you those sets of people are very very dangerous you don't need them around you from being like you they will want to own everything that you have and they will go to any extent to have them so those sets of people you don't need them around the one set of friends i'm actually going to be talking about is those sets of friends that don't celebrate your wins yes <laughs> they don't celebrate your wins i mean but if you call them to say oh hello i'm down you know i'm down i'm just going through it my boyfriend has broken up with me or you know i got fired from work or something they are the first to rush down to your house to celebrate you but i mean if you're talking about celebrating an achievement that something huge has happened to you they are either busy they are not available to be there for you they are not interested <laughs> in even being there or celebrating you shine your eye with tetoscope you have to watch out for those sets of people that don't celebrate you i mean they don't celebrate you they don't celebrate your wins at all it doesn't even flinch them that something good is happening to you but once something bad is happening for you they want to be involved they want to know how we started how we earned it but if you tell them about something good that is happening to you that deserves to be celebrated they are not available to celebrate you so those sets of people you need to watch out for them and then the third one is <clears throat> friends that want to be friends with your friends so aside you having you guys eh, i'm not talking about acquaintances i'm not talking about um, colleagues or business partners and all yes you have all those sets of people in your life but for you to classify somebody as friend you need to watch out for this personality so that you don't bring them so close and get very hot and disappointed when they hurt you or when they harm you so yeah the third i'm actually going to be talking about like i mentioned earlier to say that friends that want to be friends with your own friends I mean like aside the friendship that i have with you i have friendship with other people but if you bring this your other friends around them they either want to start following their instagram handles they want to be friends with them they want to go and start eating in their house they want to be cordial with them they don't respect boundaries i mean these are things where i then classify it into people that don't respect boundaries because friendships are sacred just like relationships as well you know i'm not gonna bring my husband to you and you are just going to be all over him dancing all over him want to follow him in social media handles you know want to be his best friend as well so even with friendship because i feel like friendship are just like relationship and they cut deep as well i mean the same way your husband is going to hurt you and you're going to really feel bad it's the same way a friend if a friend hurts you or you have a friendship breakup 
is actually really really going to cut deep so yeah these friends are the sets of people that you will bring your close friends to them and they would not respect the boundary they would try and sneak in and sneak in and sneak in from saying hello hi to visiting these people in their homes i mean to visiting your friends in their homes and all and these friendships never end well i will tell you why because you are the bone of contention you are the reason why this person and this person got together so in the midst of their conversations they probably might just be dissecting you they, are, they probably might just be talking about you they probably in fact that kind of friend that wants to be friend with your friends does not have a good intention to be very honest with you i mean friendships should be healthy i have my friends regardless of if we are close friends and close pals i have my friends and you have your friends and i respect the fact that you have your friends and i'm not going to cross that boundaries but there's some people that would overstep and overcross the boundary you will be so surprised that <laughs> that's your friend that you have introduced to your best friend or your close friend it's already planning sleepover and games night and um without you even being involved though it's already planning sleepover with this your friend i mean how would you feel how would you feel how would you feel to be very honest with you if somebody jumps the gun with your husband like i already explained that friendships and relationship actually cut deep but if somebody jumps the gun with your husband and starts planning games nights and sleepovers without you even being involved how would you feel i feel like those friends that don't respect your other friendship boundaries you need to watch out for them you really do need to watch what one is those friends that camouflage and say i really want you to succeed i'm so happy for you succeeding i really want you to do this one i really want but when you start succeeding when it's as if you know you start succeeding and overtaking they are not happy about it body don't begin to debite them <laughs> their body is pinching them they cannot handle your success i mean they cannot handle your growth they cannot handle how much wings you have gotten and you are flying so for example you have a friend that you know is successful in a particular field and you know you want to get into that same field as well you know and then they'll be like oh yeah get into it you will succeed in it do it this way do it that way but when it seems like you are doing it and you are excelling in it they have a problem with it i mean your success is beginning to pepper their eyes they cannot handle it anymore i mean like how did this person just come in overtake and fly you guys in life overtaking is allowed i can do it if if you've been doing it does not mean that i cannot come in and do it better than you or even do it way way better than you i mean my grace and your grace regardless of me being your friend my grace and your grace is two different things like it's totally different so you might be doing it and succeeding in it but i can come in and just overtake so watch out for those friends that will say i want you to succeed but when you start succeeding that's when they begin to bring unnecessary tantrums tantrums unnecessary quarrels unnecessary like you don't even know where the drama is coming from but if you're sensitive enough you can narrow it down to the fact that what you are doing and they are doing as well is as if you're beginning to succeed more than them so they have a problem with it so watch out sis watch out for those kind. and then the next one is friends that want to align with you in public but will bash you will gossip about you in private you guys these people are dangerous people to be very honest with you they want to align with you maybe because of your social status or maybe people like you you're just a very friendly person so people like you or you are in the association of people that they want to penetrate through you to get to them so they pay you in public you know they love you in public they are they talk about the friendships and all but behind you right behind you the amount of things that comes out of their mouths that they classify you as you will not even believe it <laughs> you will not even believe it i mean they gossip about you they bash you they they can even come to your front and say oh wow this necklace you have on is so nice it's so lovely but behind <laughs> What kind of smelling makeup did Bumsy do today? What kind of nonsense did this person do? And I see it a lot. It happens a lot, a lot, a lot. 
people will come and just glamorize you in your presence and then behind you they're like who is this you know who is this idiot like where did this person fly out from and that brings me to my next point right friends that are your friends in private but can never claim you in public because they are ashamed of you yes <laughs> some people that are ashamed to be associated with you maybe because you have maybe a disability or just something you don't just fit into their social status in public you're not wearing you know the kind of clothes that they are wearing or the people that they have around them they are wearing or you don't just fit into their social social status so yeah but in private you know you both are like best friends but in public they never claim you they never want to have anything to do with you i mean people don't even know outside there in public that these people are your friends they don't know that this set of people are your friends and then my next point because i'm trying to hurry up i don't want this video to be too long my next point is friends that know every single thing about you right but when it comes to them they will claim that nothing significant is happening in my life i don't have a boyfriend do you know that there are some people that you call friends they will be heavily seriously in a committed relationship with somebody and you will never know but you from the first day that you met the boy from the first day that you kissed the boy from the first day that he pulled your pants from they know every single detail about your life <laughs> they know every same thing for point but when it feels like ah share your own story be like nothing really much is happening with me nothing um, nobody serious is coming after me but behind they are dating they are in serious relationship they are doing things and all but when it comes to you they, they, they don't just want to share it with you but they just balance and they are the receiving end you know they are just collecting and collecting your information and all and also brings me to another heavy point there are some people that just want to associate with you to get certain informations from you that they're going to use to bring you down yes i was having this conversation with a friend of mine and i said so you know there's a page there's a gossip page on instagram it's called gist lover and that person has I don't know how the person gets videos personal videos personal pictures like personal informations that you will most definitely know that is the friends of these celebrities that give them this information see here i want to also state out here that success has so many friends and i'm aware of that right now that success has so many friends and it's not everybody you are going to bring close to you and share certain informations about your life with this person because some people are just looking for the information to go and play your voice notes or play your record somewhere else to the world or other people just to tarnish your image that is the reason why they are coming close to you i mean sometimes i get dms of let us be friends let us see we're gonna be friends but it's gonna end on instagram <laughs> It's gonna end on Instagram, it's gonna end on social media platform because around me I am protected and I am guarded. <laughs> I am extremely guarded. I don't want a reason where they say, Oh, this bumsy is not really what she thinks. You people think she is, you know, she is this, she is that, she's not what she thinks you think she is. Sis, we're gonna be friends on the platonic level. <laughs> I know they lack friend. I'm very, very comfortable with the sets of people that I have as friends and my wonderful, wonderful subscribers. I am very comfortable with them. Right? And brings me to yet another point, you guys. Friends that don't give. Friendship is give and take. Friendship is give and take. And see, I don't come from the school of thought. I'm sorry, you can come correct me in the comment section. But I don't come of, come from the school of thought of people that say when you do something for somebody, don't expect anything in return. Like, sis, are you are you are you are you really talking? Like, even our Lord Jesus Christ, he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him, believeth would not perish and have everlasting life he expects you that i have given you my son 
the Savior, Jesus Christ. Believe in me. I expect you to believe in me for you to have an everlasting life. People just live life this, these days without, uh, if you do something for somebody, don't expect. If you do, see, I caught up a friend when I was getting married because it felt like it was just me giving, giving, giving in the relationship. I mean, I would give, regardless of whether it was convenient for me or not. And I start that time, regardless of whether it was convenient for me as much. It, see, you guys, thank you. As at that time, it was not small money. You. But regardless, I would still give. But when it came to my wedding, I didn't get any single thing. I mean, I even told the person plainly, like, even if it's recharge card of 1,000 for you to be sensitive to say that, ah, Bomsi is getting married now. Probably she might be making a lot of calls this period, right? Let me just even try and see if I can just reach out to her and send her a thousand naira credit because I don't really have, you know. You did not. You just balanced. You know, you balanced and crossed your leg and expected that I would just be... See, you guys, a friendship is serviced both ways. It is sweeter both ways. Even relationship, marriage, give and take. Give and take. It is sweeter. Stop saying to people that if they do something for someone, they should not expect anything in return. Then you guys will just be using people. It, it means that you will just be using people. People should just balance and just be doing things for you, doing things without expecting anything in return see i'm getting very passionate about this because it's just it's just but let's just move to the yeah. next point let me just also state this point out if you have that friend that put up you are just yes yes friends like her oh, yeah yeah they can't say it to your front but they are gonna say it at your back they can't correct you in your front i mean when you are misbehaving when you are doing something but they will say it at your back i mean i i i love the friendships that i keep because i'm able to tell you come see oh this thing that you did was not in this way or this was how it is and not but you know was there a reason why you did what you did and we move past it but you see those friends that will not tell you where you have messed up or where you have fucked up and they will just go silent on you like it means that the friendship does not really hold water for us to sit down and squash whatever it is out and if we have to end it we'll end it amicably see i'm not even gonna sit here and tell you that uh, some people don't even, some people don't even deserve the sit down talk some people just deserve that cut you know what cut the relationship off cut it you don't have any business with it cut it but there's some people that also deserve that especially if the friendship has gone deep please have a sit down conversation don't just yes 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 and it comes with when people don't understand the personalities of their friends i mean and some people that are very hard to accept that they are wrong in certain situation it takes humility for somebody to say okay okay yeah i hurt you i'm sorry i was wrong but there's some people that are like that and then you guys there are so many points i want to state out Friends that don't call you, friends that don't text you, if you don't look for them, they're not going to look for you. You can stay and say, this is my very close friend, but that very close friend, you have not heard from that very close friend in like six months or three months. And they will claim to themselves, I'm so busy, I'm so busy. All your doubt cause is that it's you that have been calling out and reaching out to this person. If you don't call this person, this person will never ever call you. Be wary of those sets of friends. I feel like I'm going to divide this video into two. If you guys want to see more of this kind of video, if you want to see the continuation of this video, please let me know in the comment section and I will continue the video because I have a whole lot that I want to tell you guys. But yeah, I hope you learned a thing or two and you can also make your contributions in the comment section as well. Let me know, you know, friends that, you know, you consider people that are bad friends and you need to stay off from. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give this video Video, a massive thumbs up thumbs this video up like share comment and i will see you guys in my next video bye